Ever since I moved into my new home, I wanted to make my room very close to me and my brother. As a lot of them say, you are what your room looks like. And well, I took it too seriously because it's quite obvious, right? When you are inside a room which is very close to you, you'd feel more energized and you'd connect more with your room. And that's when I started to personalize my room based on what I love and what my brother loves. Luckily, me and my brother have a very similar taste and very similar interests. So that's when I started personalizing my room. Although I placed a whiteboard, a calendar, a Brooklyn Nine-Nine poster, a positive vibes only poster. There was something still missing and that was my love towards space, science and aviation. That's when I thought, how about I make a paper model of an ISRO rocket and place it inside my room to fill in my love towards space. And that's when I started researching on making a model paper rocket. Here's how I made the paper model. Step 1. Researching on what rocket or satellite to choose. For that, I searched on Google, YouTube and Quora. And that's when I found this amazing website called amx61.wordpress.com. This website had the paper template with instructions of almost all the rockets and satellites for not just India or ISRO, but all the space agencies out there. That's when I researched in the website into choosing the rocket I want to make a model of and I chose GSLV Mark III T1 because it looks big enough friendly. It is of the rocket family that launched Chandrayaan 2 and will be used for Gaganyaan mission as well. Step 2 Now that I chose my rocket, it was time to get the template printed. I copied the template onto my pen drive, went to the closest printing shop, resized the template to A3 size there and got it printed. So we just got done with the printing and we have the outline of the cardboard here. So uh, we just need to buy a little bit more of glue sticks and after we get after we get the glue sticks, of course, we're gonna assemble them, we're gonna cut them out and we're gonna assemble them. So let's see how this works, how this goes. Yeah, now back to home. Step 3. Now that I got the template printed, I immediately started working on it. These are the tools I used for cutting the template and pasting them together. Get yourself these tools. Me and my brother started with assembling the fairing, followed by the cryogenic upper stage. This is when I realized how challenging it is to get the whole rocket assembled. I felt so stupid when I thought it would take just 3 hours to assemble the entire rocket. The reality is, it took me way more time. <laughs> A quick update, the time is 6.52 and uh, we just finished assembling the fairing. Now uh, this is what a fairing looks like, sure, this one. So we just finished doing this and Shashank is cutting out a few covers which is going to go on top of a few parts which of course you'll get to know later and uh, yeah. Also let me just show you my workspace for today. So as I said that is the fairing and uh, these are tapes so basically I told Shishank to cut out a few tapes and stick it on, on the floor so that whenever it's required I can take it immediately and stick it on wherever it's required and uh, these are the other sheets that we are supposed to cut there are 12 more sheets and uh, Shishank had already cut another thing as I said the covering part he just finished that and uh, this will be going on top of this wherever it says glue cover we have to put one of this over there so that's basically what we're going to do for now and uh, yeah let's see how this goes once the fairing and cryogenic upper stage got done me and my brother started to work on assembling the engine and then the side boosters gosh it was so challenging and time consuming to assemble these three during this process i made two mistakes one is listening to songs instead of podcasts don't do that mistake 
Listen to podcasts and do your thing. That way you're learning and getting things done. Second, while I was getting the template resized to A3, I did not realize the dimensions for two out of the 13 sheets weren't right, which meant I had to cut out the oval, get stressed on why it wasn't fitting, and then cut the oval and make it close to circle and then stick them. So this is one part of the rocket and uh, this was supposed to be rolled and then placed like this on top of the rocket but the issue is that because uh, this technically is an oval if i if i if i uh, join them and the rocket is in a circle it isn't really sitting properly and i don't know what to do so i decided i am just trying out different things to uh, make sure that this thing sits properly so let's see A huge shout out to my brother Shushank for helping me cut and assemble the template. He legit helped in assembling almost half of the entire rocket. Hey Shushank, so how was your experience? Uh by far it's I thought it's easy but it's little bit tough but uh yeah and we are trying. And uh, I'm telling Shreyas to complete it by night. Let's see if we can complete it. It's by far it's first model so we'll see. After we assembled the entire rocket, it was time for some detailing. and that's where we decided to skip the process because one the cutouts were too small to cut and paste two it required too much of precision three no one would notice these details unless they get too close so is the reason we decided to skip it took us 18 hours to get all of this done because it was my first time doing this and i had to ensure we were very precise while cutting out the template finally it was the time for us to place it somewhere inside our room Choosing the spot was pretty easy. Once we chose the spot, we used these pins to hold the rocket onto the wall. All right, so right after entering my room, here's the rocket of course, there's my whiteboard and of course my PC and my bed and that's exactly where I am going to place my rocket. That's where I'm going to hang the rocket. It's going to be right over here and it's going to look pretty awesome. At least that's what I feel. And it is done. was all of the time stress in fact good stress and experience worth it well a big huge 100% yes i will recommend 100% for you to try paper modeling i hope you like this video thank you for watching the video guys please like the video if you enjoyed it and do subscribe to my youtube channel comment down what you think thank you for watching once again chalo bye